As we all know, life as we knew it when we rang in 2020 has changed dramatically. I'm Edie Nash Geyser, the Clerk of Court for the Supreme Court of Appeals of West Virginia. For the fall 2020 term of court, the court will resume in-person oral arguments in the courtroom here at the state capitol. As you might imagine, procedural changes have been made here at the court as well. First of all, there is no longer a cattle call here at the Supreme Court of Appeals. In the past, all cases were set at 10 o'clock a.m. and everyone was expected to arrive and wait for their case to be called. That is no longer the procedure here at the Supreme Court of Appeals. Every case that is set for oral argument is set at a specific time to be heard. And we ask that those arguing in the case not arrive to the courtroom until 10 minutes or less before your case is scheduled to be argued. Now here at the state capitol, the capitol is currently closed to visitors, but because you will be here to argue a case on official business, you will be able to gain entry. I recommend that you enter the capitol building from the California Street side. Upon entry, you will be required to wear a mask or other face covering, and you will go through Capitol Security. After going through Capitol Security, if it is 10 minutes or less before your scheduled oral argument, you may proceed to the third floor of the Capitol building where the courtroom is located. Once arriving on the third floor, you will go through Court Security. At that time, you will be asked to turn off your cell phone and leave it turned off until your oral argument is concluded. After going through court security, you will need to check in with the clerk's office. We will have a table in the hallway with a clerk's office employee who will record your name and the time that you arrive. That employee will give you an alcohol wipe that you may use to wipe any area of council table or the podium that you will be using. In addition, you will be given a microphone cover because although you will be required to wear your mask when you enter the courtroom and while you are at council table, when you approach the podium to present your oral argument, you may remove your mask and put the microphone cover on the microphone to prevent any germs that may have been left on the microphone from reaching you. When your oral argument is concluded, please remove the microphone cover and take it with you to throw it away later. Once your oral argument is concluded, we ask that you exit the courtroom and again, check in with the clerk's office so that they may record the time that you are leaving the Capitol. Now, as always, oral arguments will be webcast live so that anyone anywhere in the world may view and listen to your oral argument. We do record the oral arguments and they will be available on the court's website. Stay well and we look forward to seeing you here soon.